All right, my fault. I was just, uh, I had, to, I wanted to, I thought I was doing something. All right, uh, this one, so like I said, yeah, this looked like it was a reversal to a continuation, which is kind of what it's looking like, and it's given. Um, so let me actually, let's adjust this and see. Yeah, that's what it's given for. So, and you could look for an opportunity right around here, realistically. Um, or you can wait and see for, because now you're starting to see everything start to, I guess, align and adjust, right? So you can wait as well. That's another thing you could do. So yeah, let's wait. I would recommend on this pair, Euro USD, you wait and see what's going on, right? Let's look at another pair first, because this candle could come down to this line and reject again, which I think is the, or it could break it like this. The running a candle. Yeah, let's let's on um, Euro USD. You took it earlier, you cleared, and let's look at something else for now. Just to save you guys the headache of thingy. Hold on. This is DVP JPY. Um GBP JPY is in a funny scenario, right? Because it's at an area where it could reverse, but everything is giving sign of continuation. So I guess to confirm where this candle closes will be the best way to figure out which one which will be the best opportunity to take. So the super trend now says that a reversal is more likely. Um price action showing that there should be a reversal somewhere around here right now, right? Um the Donchin, if it rejects the Donchin the right way, I guess that, that'll be another sign to look for. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is this Bollinger Band is really wide and uh, the Keltner is rising. So those are two things that I would pay attention to. Also, my stochastic isn't def definite. It's like, isn't, isn't definitive, I guess is the word. And because of that, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. Right. So I, I think the continuation is probably a little more likely probably for the next two to three candles and then a possible reversal. Or it just depends on how bold this candle closes, right? If this candle bold closes red and under this line, then theoretically it, it should be good. Um, but again, another scenario where you could just watch and just if you know how to trade continuation, take those continuations. Let's look at sign else. Now this this looks like a reversal, right? So you could theoretically take this right for a minute, and you want to be around this area here if you can. For the highest chance of clearing. What is this? Zero cat? So I I sold at the peak of that candle. Um, I sold for a minute. Let's see how it plays out. I have nineteen seconds left. Mm -hmm. Twelve seconds left. Five seconds left. All right, so I, I cleared. Anybody take them? Did anybody with, uh oh, oh, I know why I cleared. Why did I clear? Uh, oh, because I took it. When did I get in on this? Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, that, that's kind of interesting. All right. <clears throat> Let me see something. Oh, you took it out? Right, that's fine. 
Let's see. This is USD cap. Theoretically, this will be a 12. This is a This is This is the area. Um, if there's going to be a reversal, it'll be around the, so between, what is this line? I can't see the number because this number is blocking it. <laughs> Let's see, what's the number? Five, 750. So if you can get near 750 right now until you get the confirmation, I would take it for three. Once that confirmation candle comes down, then I would take it for two as close as possible to that line. Uh, what is this USD card? I'm not going to that. You guys just start seeing a push down in a second. <laughs> Again, if you're going to get in around now, you, you, you want to be in for that three around there. If you touch it right now, where is that? You want to be in for two to three minutes. Um, Right around there. Now, if this candle breaks that super trend, everything is null and void. If, if this candle closes above this super trend, don't look for sells. They'll most likely turn into a buy. But I guess if you're not in this already, I'm in this already. I have three oh three entries actually. I kept taking entries as it pushed up. <clears throat> but I don't recommend you take this many entries, especially because there's a chance this candle closes up there. And if it does. Which one's going to change? Um, I think this will be this. This could be that final little. Just watch this candle. I recommend you, instead of trying to jump in early, wait till you get the confirmation candle. Because the mistake that I just basically did is I jumped in too early. And I didn't jump, I didn't wait for the confirmation can. So for me, my higher entries are safe when my lower entries are. Let's see. 46 seconds though. It's not an, it's enough time though for a candle to this call. Well, I got what I got in my trade now. 46 seconds. There you go. Starting to see some definite. Alright, there you go. Starting to see some definite move. I'm like, yo. What's up with this right here? Playing with me. Yeah, this candle, this candle right here, this renegade ass candle is pissing me off. Oh, well, that second time. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah, no. If the confirmation candle crosses in the counter, they usually still take it. I prefer for the confirmation candle to come into the counter. If it closes outside, I try not to. This one closed right inside slightly. Now, the only problem with this one right here is these renegade candles. Like, realistically, they're still holding the super trend, so that's a, that's still good, right? Like, especially if your entry was near the super trend. But the renegade candles, I, I'm not, I don't know. Because I just lost, I just lost my entry because of a renegade candle. So when I see candles like that, I normally like to see, I like to wait a little more and see. 
Now, again, if you're depending on where your entry is, and even if your entry is at this line, I think you'll still be safe. It just depends, realistically. You either, if, if your entry is at this line or above, there's a chance you'll clear it. My entry was real fucking low for some reason. That's better than me. I promise you. Which sucks, because I was... Yeah, you see, look. There. And you would have... And, and, and now, theoretically, now you could take it... You could sell again at this line. What is it, 750? I want to be very nice. For two, though, this time. Oh, fuck it. This did me so dirty. Oh, I didn't. I need to There you go. It's starting to come down, y'all. Don't worry. Just a little patience and it'll take you a long way. Trust me. Oh, my leg. I caught a cramp. Yeah, you should, it's fine. Trust me, I I felt the same way. But sometimes you just gotta move on to the next one and just, I guess, be happy. You still got money to take another one. I guess that's that's how I look at it. I've been I've been sitting Native American style. And I'm too old for that shit. My kneecap feel like about to explode, boy. I'll be forgetting that I'm not a teenager. How many seconds do I got left on this trade? Because I got 11. And I'm deep in profits right now. Four, three, two. And I'm good. All right, good. We cleared. Everybody cleared. All right, cool. I know that one that when y'all saw that candle pushing up, some of y'all got intimidated. It's perfectly fine. I get it. But we recoup. We regain. And we reposition. Yay. All right, let's look at something. Let's look at a whole other pair now. I get tired of looking at the same pair. And they all. Oh, so you, all right, so you want to laugh? Remember how earlier everything was continuing? Well, now it seems like we're having reversal time. It looks like everything wants to do reversals now. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? This is why when you take a few losses, you should just take a break. Because then you come back and you're like, oh, now you want to play this game. Okay, so that's... Oh, that's actually going to keep going down. So I would look for a sell at this line or as close to this line as possible. I would say for a minute and just to, uh, yeah, it's probably just going to keep going down. You might, you might not be able to get that entry, but, or an entry even here, if you could, even at this line, if you can't get up here, try to get at this line, if you can't. And the truth is that after that, we'll probably see a drop to like here. So, just so you know, what is this? Euro GBP? Let's go to Euro GBP. See what we can take. Cause I'm a taker. A minute. I'm going for. A, ooh, come on. I need. I, ooh, watch what. I, oh, yo, that shit's tanking. Oh, I just. I, I'm sorry. I forgot y'all see that. I couldn't get in though. Because I'm a taker. Notice how it's pulling back once it gets close to that area that we were talking about. It's important to pay attention to. I got 28 seconds left in that trade. And I have a really low entry. So I there's a chance that for me, I get smacked out last second. 
Because, you know, fear of missing out, FOMO, I was feeling that shit. I was going to be like, yeah, everybody's going to clear and not me. Not the silent sniper. But I might have just clutched up like, no, three, oh, clutch up. Oh. Five second, I cleared. I cleared? I cleared. I cleared it. Yeah, bitch, I cleared that. I'm sorry. Part of my language, y'all. <laughs> I was here looking, I'm like, yo, that shit went up a point, down a point, up a point, down a point, up a point, down a point. I'm like, oh lord. All right. So we're supposed to show you that my entry was real low. FOMO. I was I was like, nah. All right. Damn, I'm I'm low key up. All right, let's let's keep going. 142. Um here. There's a possibility for movement around here. So there's a chance there'll be a reversal right here. There's a chance, real good chance at that. I would wait, but yeah, the political pairs is your GBP and UD. Let me go there. Be ready. Yo, actually, you know what? I'm going, I'm going with it. Ooh, it yeah, I'm going with it, blood. I, I had to enter one there, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Not anymore, though. I don't know what that was. Oh, did I? I already entered this. I already entered it because I'm was, I'll be, I'll be on some hot shit. This is the fuck I'm telling you. I'm totally smoking weed, man. It will have you thinking you ain't do some shit. You really did it already. But it's a certain two, uh, 252. Oh, with another one, YOLO. Ooh, they both in profit. Okay, let's go. And I will, I will just do one last one for me either. Where I started. Oh, you son of a bitch. You pushed me. You're a motherfucker. I'm sorry. The broker did me dirty. The broker pushed me. And my hot mom. You know what? I can't even be mad. If I'm right, I'm right. Right? If I'm right, I'm right. Now, this could this could easily turn into a continuation. Just a heads up. But I think it's more of a reversal. But it could, just so you know, easily turn into a continuation. But it, I'm getting more reversal vibes. I'm just saying. I'm just giving y'all what I think. Actually, so on on so on, all right. So I'm looking at it on because on trade one X the the candles move a lot more, right? Like you, you like it literally moves second, but like every like a lot. And I'm noticing that on this one, I'm noticing that it's rejecting the Keltner. Right? So, which, and it's now it's doing it on pocket option. Right? So, if you're not in it, for, if you're not in this already, you might not want to jump into it. Or you might not, you not might, you might not want to jump into it right now. Yeah, it's rejecting that Keltner. But now, now is the now the counter broke. All right, you good? You good? It's about to take off. We good, y'all. We good. I don't even know how much money I just made right now. Let me not talk shit. Hold on. Let me just wait till. Let me not say nothing. Five, four, three, two. All right, I cleared all those. Oof. What? That's, that's what I mean. How much did I start with? Do y'all know? Yeah, I'm not going to know. Hold on. My fault. I just need, I need to know. Give me a second now. Uh. 
Oh shit, I started. Oh, I'm up. So I started with thirteen thousand seven hundred and ninety-seven dollars. Right now I have sixteen thousand six hundred and ninety-nine dollars. That's not bad. Oh yeah, you. All right, look. So it's my fault. It's because you can only see. So look. Can you see the screen? Can you see this now? I've just been smacking this shit. Like, I lost a few right here, but I just been smacking it. Like, I ain't even a lot of you. And you can see one entry is three losses for me right now. So consider this one trade. But yeah, no, nah, yeah, it's not bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, this this trade was the one that got me closer, and then from there it's kind of spiraling. But that's awesome. All right, cool. I just wanted y'all to see that. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Y'all want to continue? I bet. Me, I don't mind because right. Oh, this is gonna be a continuation. Um, so I don't mind because I can get this to twenty right now. Stop. All right, yeah, so we want to see what, all right, this candle, for us to take a continuation trade, needs to close on this line. If it, if it breaks in, if it, so one, if it closes above this line and breaks into the counter, more likely than not, don't look for a continuation too much. This should come down. Yeah, so try to be above this line. What, what is the, what is this? What page is it? Yeah, I bet. So I'm going in. Uh, there you go. Oh, I got oh Joe, that is crazy. I got pushed to the bottom of that candle. Oh my lord. I mean, I'm still clearing right now, but Jesus. Oh, that pullback right there just I'm still in the oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh nope, that pullback took me out. Damn, that's how low my entry is. That's crazy. Actually, you know what? You want to play with me, broker? You try me like that, I'm going to try you. Call your, call your bluff, bitch. Go ahead. All right. Broker tried me, so I'm trying him. Now, some of you see this little renegade candle right here, and it might freak you out. But um, don't worry. Should be all right. If, you, if you're at the line. There you go. Oh, yo, where the fuck is the entry at? That's a low ass entry. Where is this entry at? The entry there. So that entry was disrespectful. The, the entry that I had. No, no. Nah, hell no. I'm not YOLO as shit. I don't know. But the funny thing right now is that my entry, all right, so I got pushed when I took the entry, when I went to, so oftentimes, look, just so you know, right, oftentimes you'll take a trade, right, and then you'll take it, boom, and what, what you'll notice that can happen is you'll take that trade, and right when you hit the button, the candle takes off in one direction. So now, where, originally, where you, entry, where you thought of you taking the opportunity, you're pushed completely into a whole other area where it don't even matter if you're right. Any little subtle pullback takes you out. And that sucks, dude. That sucks. So that one got me mad. I ain't gonna lie. But not mad enough to, like, change my mood. It's more mad like, oh, the broker disrespected me. But, okay, so look here. Right here. Price kind of grad. So remember we were here earlier. We gradually made our way down. It reversed again in the bottom. So there's a chance that there'll be another reversal right around here. Why? Because the price is moving between this window and this window. Sideways movement. It's already not the, the both your Bollinger's constricting. Remember that? A lot of things happening right here. So I'm expecting. Yeah. So look here. What do we want to see? Now your stochastic is showing continuation. Your super trend is showing continuation. And if this this candle theoretically, if it closes above this line, it'll also show continuation. So it, this is where you, theoretically, this candle is going to be the one that tells you what's coming next. And 
And if it rejects, so if it expands the uh, dungeon as well. If it doesn't, so if it rejects the dungeon, loses momentum, gives, comes back down with strength, and closes under that line, then you can start to look, to look for reversal. If it doesn't do that, right, then we start to entertain other ideas. Does that make sense? This is what I mean. DBP AUD is about to, hold on, my fault. This is about to continue. Yeah, this is about to continue. Wait, I'm going to say right now. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on. Don't take it for continuation because the price just did something different. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, all right, so look. When I was looking at it, everything was showing continuation. But now for you, damn, is that this is still showing continuation. This candle didn't break. None, I mean, look, ideally you want to be under, like, you want to be above this line. So you want the highest entry possible above this line. If it is a reversal. However, your stochastic isn't fully there yet. And a lot of your tools isn't fully there yet. So, you know, use discretion, I guess. Yeah, you see, like, it's it's given more continuation vibes than it is full reversal vibes, but this candle can be the determining factor. So just wait. I don't like how this candle closed. All right, so the highest possible entry you could, I would sell for three. And the highest possible entry being, this is mad high up here. I don't think it's going to reach there. You might get something. I'm going to move this for one sec. Actually, no, I can't. I'm going to move this bottom one for one second. I just want you to see. Give or take. If you can get an entry around here. Let me see. Is that... No, here. Hmm. All right, so now again, everything is. I still see a continuation here. Oh, the super trend just switched. I'm like, I still see a continuation here. I would buy. I'm telling you. All right, this looked like a little fake out, but stochastic, everything, super trend. I'm actually, I'm not even going to tell you. I don't, I'm just going to do it because it's not. If I don't do nothing, I'm a ball. I'm counting on day like the, on the wall. Now go and get your money, little duffel bag boy. I ain't never ran from a, and I damn sure ain't about to pick today to start running. I ain't never ran from a, and I damn sure ain't about to pick today to start running. Young money. Oh, by a second, they, oh, they, they did me so filthy. And I had the lowest entry possible. They did me so filthy with that little push. Now, my more, my more risky. Now, the funny thing is that super trend switched. And it's, it's kind of been shifting between one and the other, one and the other, one and the other, one and the other. Um. Well, uh, yo, that's two times that by a second. All right. All right, I'm done. That one, that's it. <laughs> that one trade idea kind of got annoying. We'll be back at midnight, y'all. I want to eat. Post your results in the session results and uh, see you in uh, two hours and change. Ciao, Bella.
We got those players there, and now we got this last one for 26 seconds, and we'll be done, though. So you see, this is what it means to be a trader. You got to measure your risk, you have confidence in your trades. Sometimes you're going to win some, sometimes you're going to lose some, but overall, roll your account steadily and know when to stop. You see, now I make this, I clear this trade, and I'm done. I don't have to take any more trades. I'm happy with what I've made. If you guys watch the whole video, you'll see that I've actually made a pretty decent profit. What are we up to? There you go, $17,575. But with all that being said, from 13000 to this, I'm out. Your boy's out. Peace.